Good day and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how much you can make with just an hour of mining and basically what that'll get you in World of Warcraft and how much gold it'll make you. So, yeah, basically we start the timer and I will just be essentially mining, you know, pretty much whatever ore I find. Uh, and yeah, let's take it from there. Cool. So the first, uh, the first nine minutes did not go great at all. In fact, I barely found anything, and that was largely because I did not have my track minerals on, because I am an idiot. So it just goes to show you that you can be absolutely useless no matter how long you have played this game for. But uh, switched my track minerals on, which by the way you can do by clicking your binoculars and hitting track find minerals. And then things did start to pick up, which was very fortunate, thankfully. So we're about 20 minutes in or so, give or take, and we started picking up some interesting stuff. Uh, we picked up our first null stone, uh, we've managed to pick up quite a bit of iron claw ore, uh, lots of bismuth now. We're picking up a little bit of weaver cloth from the weaving. Uh, so yeah, we really starting to pick up some interesting stuff. How much it'll sell for? Mm, yeah, we'll have to see. But I think overall, we're starting to get some good materials. Uh, you'll notice that I'm storing uh, my knowledge. So I'm storing like a lot of my mining knowledge. You should be expanding this straight away. I'm just storing it because I want to see how much we get at the end. But yeah, you should be expanding yours uh, pretty much immediately. So we're really, really trying to spend uh, about 15 minutes in each zone. And yeah, it's a little bit difficult, obviously, to keep track equally. But trying to just naturally move through the zones you know, not trying to obviously uh, do too many overpasses. Generally just trying to fly through the zones, see what's up, uh, and basically come out on top uh, with the rewards and everything. So it is uh, a little bit of a challenge, I will say, finding uh, all of the nodes. But generally speaking, most of the areas have been pretty good. Uh, I'd say Ring of Deeps is probably the best, and I'd probably say Hello Fall was really good. Azkajet had moments where it felt really good. Isle of Dawn is a very mixed bag, so we'll see how we go here. Maybe five minutes here, and then maybe finish up in Ring Deeps because yeah, that's just the better one. And so we are done with the hour of mining. And we got a pretty good haul, actually. Uh, now, for the most part, I've managed to I organize everything at the bottom here. Uh, obviously, you know, there are some bonuses that I get. I'm in engineering, so I've been picking up scrap the whole way. I'm not going to be measuring that because not every class will get scrap. Uh, but yeah, basically, we picked up some good stuff. Uh, also, just to bear in mind that my skill went from 33 to 72, which is pretty damn helpful. And, of course, as well, I picked up some knowledge, which is great. And I actually picked up knowledge items as well. So, 3, uh, 2, and 5. So, that means 10 knowledge in total that we picked up. Now, let's see how much money we made. So... Uh, we'll start with all of the items here. So 236, 11, so 247. And uh, now we are sitting at about 389. Okay, 423. Then we got 558, so we're sitting at 887. This was good, the two imperfect null stones, so we're sitting about two grand. Call it five, call it five seven, and then throw on another three and a half. Uh, so that puts me all the way up to nine thousand, which is not bad. Uh, I'm not actually selling it this time because I actually I need this. Like I, I need these raw materials. Uh, something that's important to note for bismuth, especially uh, if we look at bismuth, you know, 
if you just want to focus on making money. Um, bismuth at gold rank sells for three times the price of the low rank bismuth which we were getting. And getting high rank bismuth is actually pretty easy. Uh, all you have to do, honestly, realistically, uh, is go to your plethora of ore and then you're going to just focus on bismuth and this should give you uh, a whole bunch of business which is really really good so you can obviously do that as well uh, you can also work on finding mining fundamentals and something else that's important uh, is your mining profession gear so uh, you want to obviously upgrade your mining profession gear as much as possible and we have not done that and that would help us out big time so keep that in mind but yeah 9,000 gold, not bad, uh, and I think overall a good uh, little session of mining there, yeah.